Good morning. It is a pleasure to be here with you today to present the Caring for the Caregiver Training Package, which is a key tool for operationalizing the Nurturing Care Framework. As the Nurturing Care Framework clearly outlines, caregivers' emotional well-being is critical for child development. We know that caregivers' emotional well-being impacts their ability to provide nurturing care. As The Lancet in 2016 highlighted, efforts to help children are unlikely to succeed unless we also support caregivers. Caregivers must be at the center of our work. We need to empower them with emotional availability, knowledge, skills, and access to resources so they can in turn provide nurturing care to their young children. Our vision is to provide adequate counseling and parenting support services that improve caregivers' emotional well-being so they can interact and have stronger relationships with their young children, which will in turn lead to better child development outcomes. The Caring for the Caregiver package aims to develop four essential skills. The first one, which is the building block of the package, is relationship management. It aims to enhance the ability of community health workers, nutrition support workforce, and others to be able to build a relationship of empathy and trust with the caregiver from the beginning. Based on this, the package goes on into supporting the development of stress management skills. It aims to help the caregivers and parents identify what are the emotional stressors, the practical stressors that they face in their daily life, and what could be the coping mechanisms that they could use to address those stressors. It also acknowledges the importance of empowering caregivers with conflict management skills and also with resource management skills so they can easily identify what could be the sources of support in terms of people and services in their communities that would help them deal with their stress, but at the same time would help them in their role as parents and caregivers. The Caring for the Caregiver approach is organized across two key organizing principles. The importance of connecting with the caregiver and supporting the caregiver so they can in turn connect and support the child. Those two key elements come across all the different tools and the different uh, training manuals, and they aim to provide information and practical recommendations that cover all the different sub-age groups from pregnancy to the age of five. The Caring for the Caregiver package is comprised of different manuals, information and playing cards and counseling cards. And now through the validation phase, we're also working on developing very interactive videos with the different countries that are working with us in order to ensure that the final version of the package is gonna be very simple, very interactive, and it's gonna support the rollout at the global level. Finally, I wanted to share with you some key learnings that are emerging from the validation process in Serbia. So this summarizes the feedback that we are getting from the home visiting nurses that have been trained on this approach and that are using these new enhanced skills in their interactions with caregivers. They are telling us that the CFC approach is helping them adopt a more family-centered approach, that they are now better able to understand the vulnerability, stigma, deprivation, and barriers to sensitive or positive parenting from the parent's perspective. They also have underscored that they now understand that parenting is all about relationship and connection, and that because of that, a trusting relationship with the parents themselves is a unique experience for them that empowers them to in turn have a much wider and richer experience with their own children, where they can provide comfort, connection, emotional security, stimulation, and learning through playful interactions. They have also mentioned that they feel this approach is significantly helping them prevent violent discipline. So in, in summary, we have seen how in Serbia, many of the frontline workers that have been trained are seeing this as an opportunity to move away from seeing how we educate parents to actually see how we can collaborate with parents and we can build on their strengths.